Team Asobi already had a great start this generation with the PS5 launching with Astro's Playroom, the free pack in game made to introduce you to the DualSense controller. It was a great experience that looked and played great thanks to its visuals and responsive controls. It was also received very well from PS5 owners and, in my opinion, is a breath of fresh air compared to Sony's other first party offerings and stands out as a great platformer with tons of charm. But what's next for Team Asobi? There are two ways they can go about their next project. It could be an entirely new IP, which I'd like to see more than anything, or it could be another Astrobot game. Considering that Sony formed the studio to quote, build on the popularity of Astro's Playroom, and that they're currently hiring for a 3D action game, it's very likely that their next game will be a fully fledged Astrobot game in the same style as Astro's Playroom. And you know what? I think that's a great idea. I don't know about anyone else, but I feel that Astro's Playroom is one of the coolest and unique games Sony has made in a long time. A lot of their other games are very gritty, narrative driven, or very cinematic, and while there's nothing wrong with that, I'm happy to see that they're still willing to make more colorful games. As a matter of fact, Astro's Playroom has an almost Nintendo-like quality to it, and you could convince me that it was a first party Nintendo game if all I saw was gameplay. It has personality and is really just a gameplay first type of game. There isn't even a story to Astro's Playroom, yet I find the game to be extremely fun because they focus so hard on fun mechanics and satisfying platforming. The game also constantly introduces new things as you play and it left me with a great impression for the DualSense as well as Team Asobi themselves. It's a little on the short side, and that's due to the game's major focus on being both a PlayStation love letter as well as a game that demonstrates the features of the DualSense controller, but the foundation is there, and this is strong foundation. But what exactly could they do to build upon what they already have here? Well, I have a couple of ideas. One of my favorite things about video games is the ability to play local co-op and unfortunately it's not as common as it used to be unless you're Nintendo or Gearbox with Borderlands. This one doesn't seem very likely but being able to play as two different Astro characters and making your way through levels sounds like it would be so much fun. Whether it's shared or split screen it doesn't matter, I'd be down for it. I'm gonna bring up another 3D platformer from Nintendo, Mario Odyssey. That game utilized co-op, but the only downside was that Player 2 was always cappy and all they could do was help Mario jump, collect items, or hit enemies to clear a path. If co-op comes to Astro's sequel, I think it should be more straightforward and allow both players to fully control their own character. Another thing I'd like to see is more items to spend your coins on, such as outfits or new abilities. In Astro's Playroom, you can pretty much only spend your coins at the gacha machine at the PlayStation Labo area. Being able to spend your coins on other things like new abilities, weapons, or even cosmetics to customize Astro would be pretty sweet. Alongside some original designs, it'd be cool to see some licensed outfits as well, like Resident Evil or even Final Fantasy outfits. And they might as well throw in some old Japan Studio stuff too, like a cat outfit from Gravity Rush, or even a Spike outfit from Ape Escape. I mean, they already referenced both games anyway. I think being able to unlock new power-ups like an ability that allows you to extend your jumps, or something that allows you to sprint would be awesome too. Maybe that can be tied into the progression as well. For example, you need a certain ability to gain access to new areas. That way, you're greatly rewarded for collecting coins. Alongside that, I'd like to see more locations to explore. What we got in Astro's Playroom was already good. There was one hub and four main areas that were pretty big levels. Though for a full-size game, I think more places to go would be fitting. Once again, I'm thinking of Mario Odyssey. That game had so many kingdoms to run around and each one had a completely different feel to it. There was a ton of variety, from the Sand Kingdom to the Metro Kingdom, no one place felt the same. I'd like the same idea to come over to Astro's sequel. As for ideas, well, I'd like to see a world that's inspired by a futuristic city at night, maybe even a world that's more abstract and not grounded in reality. Playroom's areas were representative of PlayStation hardware. Memory Metal was supposed to be the PS1 and SSD Speedway was supposed to be the PS5, but then breaking away from just referencing hardware would give them a lot more freedom in creating whatever they want. Astro already has some minigames. There's the Network Speedrun Time Trials, where you have to complete a level as fast as possible, as well as the Gotch Machine that I mentioned earlier, where you can spend coins to get a chance at earning cool items and artifacts. But if they really want to fill out the world and give the player a lot more stuff to do, a bunch of minigames would really help. There are a couple of ways they could do it. They could have games that are just out in the world waiting for you to stumble upon them, such as maybe collect this many coins in a certain amount of time, or try to reach this specific point before the time runs out. Or they could have a dedicated minigame corner in the main hub area, if this theoretical sequel has one. There, you could load into different minigames that have nothing to do with the main game. This reminds me of Ape Escape on the PS1, where you could run into a room in the hub area and load up a skiing or boxing minigame, and it was two players. There's a ton of potential here. Maybe minigames themselves can be unlocked as you play. More to do aside from the main mode would give the game a lot more replayability. I mean, I still play Ape Escape till this day because of its minigames. 
I also think that a little bit of story would go a long way. I said before that these games are gameplay first and while that's great, a little motivation for why Astro is doing what he's doing would help and add to the feel of the world. Astro by Rescue Mission had a simple story. Captain Astro needs to rescue his crew that got lost in multiple different worlds, and they could do something like that. I'm not asking for a deep narrative or anything, but something that gives Astro a reason to be exploring these worlds. So all of these are ideas that I think would be pretty sweet for a new 3D platformer from Sony. If Team Asobi ends up making a new IP in favor of a new Astro game, however, then it's kind of hard to even begin to talk about what I'd like to see from them, but I have faith in the devs with whatever they come up with. They stated that they want to create fun games for all ages, and if you ask me, they're the perfect studio to do it. Just please do not make a game that requires the PSVR 2. I like VR and it's pretty cool, but as someone who owns a PSVR headset, it gets tiring and disorienting really fast. I'd like to have the ability to grab my controller and not have to look at a screen shoved two inches away from my eyes at all times. I've also already talked about the possibility of them working on a new Ape Escape, so check that out linked below, but right now we just have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully they show off their project sooner rather than later because they've been quiet as well as the rest of PlayStation when it comes to events and announcements, so maybe we'll see it at the next state of play. I'm really excited to see the future of Team Asobi mainly because I was a fan of Japan Studio and was rightfully disappointed when Sony shut them down, so I'm really hoping that Asobi makes more games outside of just Astro Bot. But that's all I have to say for this video. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If not, leave a dislike. And if you want to see more videos from my channel talking about a plethora of games from both PlayStation and Nintendo consoles, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.